Well, great evening. Oh, chitty chat time. I look like a red-eyed panda today. I have never had allergies in my life, but I have got to be allergic to something. My eyes have been puffy and itchy all day. Just feel like I've got sand in them. Oh, the miserable feeling. Anyway, um, the house saga is coming to an end finally. <laughs> We're waiting for the uh, stuff to come back today and nothing comes back, nothing comes back, nothing comes back. And we're going, what the heck, you know, is going on? And uh, title company says, we're still waiting, okay? Papers they gave us, we sent it back to them and we're still waiting for the final closing documents. So, you know, I'm trying to call the guy at the loan thing. And of course, he doesn't answer, doesn't respond, you know. So I called Ronald and said, Ronald, do you have the second phone? Call him on that and he'll pick up. If it's somebody he, he doesn't know and he thinks he's going to get another, you know, commission, he'll pick up right away. Sure enough, he picked up immediately. <laughs> And he's, he, you know, um, he said, look, we're still waiting, okay? And and uh, so, you know, you need, he's telling them, you need to get a hold of Ganga and you need to get a hold of the title company. Well, instead he calls my realtor and says, and gives her the runaround, okay? They're going around and around and around. And uh, and they finally, she says, get the title company. We'll do a three-way call. The title company sent this information back. Well, well, you should have sent it to Nicole. Who's Nicole? You never said anything about somebody with the name Nicole. And he's had the documents. They were sent back to him. Okay. Yes. What is it? Friday. He had them sent back, and they've been sitting there. So long story short, you know, I'm still waiting for the final information. What do I need to bring to close? How much money do I need to bring to close? Well, he goes, well, you know, you read the other pre preliminary documents. If you take that, you know, you should have some refund coming, a little bit of refund. You know, we usually overestimate it. At, at first I go I don't want to have to go through giving them a, a cashier's check and then waiting for them to refund money I said I'm already waiting on my other house for them to refund they owe me like 5,000 from <laughs> that I'm still waiting for a month for for that to come in and I said look I don't want to you know I've got things I've got to do. So I finally get it, and they were estimated like 3,000 off, okay? 3,000 that I didn't have to pay, <laughs> which is good, because <laughs> I need some furniture. And um, so the closing, it is 9 a.m., and then I talked to, I went down to look at the furniture again. I need a couch. And fortunately, if I get there, do the clothes, rush down to the furniture place, they can deliver the couch tomorrow. They have a four o'clock opening. So they're coming. And then some um, other things I have coming from Alamogordo. Um, uh, the woman I got those from is, uh, I put a hold on him. Okay, so uh, I'll pay her when when uh, they bring it over. They're bringing over coffee table, uh, TV, 
cups, a TV stand, coffee table, a, um, a desk, a desk, and a statue carved ironwood. Very, very heavy. Um, I also have a table, a dining table coming from them, but they won't be able to fit it in their truck uh, tomorrow, so they'll have to bring it another day. Um, so I will have some things. I will have a couch, and I will have my end table, not an end table, uh, a, uh, a coffee table. I have a coffee table. And then my furniture, the things, and I don't remember what all's coming except for my instruments and some, um, you know, um, pictures and stuff I have coming. Well, I have, what is it? Nine boxes or six big Gaylords full of stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, my bed <laughs> is coming. <laughs> and Ronald's going, well, can't you just buy another bed there? I said, no, I just bought that. And it's, it was a lot of money. I bought one that's the same thing they have in the Hampton Inns. Okay, it was, you know. It it was a few thousand dollars. It was not cheap. I said, no, I just got that like a, a month or two before. So anyway, so got that packed up and everything. And wound up getting a good rate for the moving. And it should be here by Thursday. So, you know, I don't even remember what all is packed in there. Now, I know a lot of my clothing... I might as well just throw them away because being out here, they put me on that medication and made me gain a lot of weight, so they're not going to fit. So <laughs> they ship it here so I can give it to Goodwill, basically. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is just insanity. Anyway, um... So that's what's been going on today. But we finally did get it cleared up. And I said, look, I need to know, bottom line, what I need to bring. Because the bank has got, you know, shortened hours. And I, there's only one of my banking institution in this city. Okay. <laughs> so I need to get there today. So I'm ready at 9 a.m. in the morning. Because the bank doesn't open till 10 a.m. So I wouldn't be able to get it in the morning. And at first they said they weren't going to fund it until tomorrow, the day after the thing. And then they changed that. No, we'll, we'll fund, we're funding it the same day. So I'm just, <laughs> what a comedy of errors and problems. Mr. Max, you know what time it is? It's puppy Go Betty by the nighty night, Betty by the nighty night, puppies, all good puppies. Go Betty by the nighty night, Betty by nighty night, puppies. He's good about going to bed. He knows when it's time. We do the Betty by nighty night song and then he goes and lays down. Okay, Betty by the nighty night. Got a good boy. There you go. He doesn't argue the point. Now, he'll argue the point in the morning and want to come sit with me. But when it's bedtime, he he will go over there and go to bed. Anyway, in the morning, 9 out of 10, I probably won't do a video. Got another owie there. And I won't do a video in the morning because i got to be there, you know. <laughs> got to be there early and I've got a lot of running to do um, tomorrow. I've got to call and get the uh, utilities changed over and uh, start, you know, taking the things that my car is packed. So I got to take that over and then come back over here, reload up the car. Well, thank goodness, tomorrow Ronald is flying in from Florida to help me with this. He's got, so he can come over here, unload the bottom of the van, and get that stuff unloaded and bring it over to the house. 
So, you know, I got to get the van unloaded. I've got to go over to Alamogordo to dump the tanks and get ready to put it in storage. So that's another thing <laughs> that's going on all at once. And then I heard from the um, the pagan radio station. Now, um, they're going to do everything online this year because of COVID. Okay. Um, those that don't know that are new, I was nominated for Performer of the Year. Which I was really thrilled to get. Of course, I didn't win it, which I didn't expect to. Nobody knows who I am. Um, but I was really, really honored just to be um, nominated for it. Uh, so I will be doing a uh, video uh, flute performance for that day. Um, and just, of course, say congratulations to the winner. Whomever they may be, <laughs> we'll find out anyway. But like I said, I was just really surprised when I found out I had been nominated. I was just like, wow, you know. Um, that's pretty good for your very first CD to put out and get nominated for a uh, performer, woman performer of the year. So thank you for that. Um, was happy to get that. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. Anyway, I'm just glad the wait is over because it has been just crazy. Okay, it has just been crazy with trying to get this finished but we are in the home stretch tomorrow is the final and I will have a couch <laughs> right away I have the couch the desk the you know so I have a few items coming in and I think I will also where I'm getting the couch I think I will also get a um, bookcase from there for the tarot cards. Um, and I have a new deck coming tomorrow. I just got the change of address that I put in like a month ago. And they're just now changing my mail to here. <laughs> so now I have to put in another change of address um, to have it instead of sent here, to have it sent to the house over there. It's been a nightmare. And then the next thing I'm going to try to get in to get my registration for the car. Now, when I came here, I changed my insurance over to Mexico, to New Mexico. And they were going to drop my driver's license in Florida to, because they said, you don't have Florida insurance. So I said, well, give me the Florida. No, we can't do that. We're going to suspend your license. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> so I said, look, my permanent address is still there. You need to re, you know, reauthorize my insurance. You can't say that. You know, I've had a lapse in insurance. I don't have a lapse in insurance. Just because it's been transferred out here doesn't mean I don't have insurance. Okay? So, they were telling me at that point that um, I couldn't register here because they weren't taking any kind of appointments until October. So I would have been driving on a suspended license. I said, I can't drive on a suspended license. I said, oh my God, what a nightmare that's been. So hopefully now uh, I can get in before they decide to uh, take away my license from Florida because I'm in New Mexico. COVID, I tell you, it has been a nightmare going through this. Um, 
you know, you try to do the right thing. If I'm out here, I want insurance. Well, the insurance is cheaper out here than it is in Florida. In Florida, you have to have uninsured motorist, okay? Because, you know, a high percentage of them do not have a driver's license, okay? So you gotta pay for these guys that run around without insurance. So anyway, um, I'll be happy to get that changed over to here. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> as soon as I get in the house, I want to go register, go down and register so I can vote. Um, everything is just so, you know, tight and close to get everything done. Um, Another thing that was crazy out here, you go to look at furniture and all the furniture stores out here, you have to order the furniture. And they said it's four to six weeks. <laughs> you expect me to sit in, a, in, <laughs> in an empty house for four to six weeks? <laughs> well, COVID, <laughs> I said, oh, So that wasn't working. So anyway, I was really fortunate to find, you know, I've been looking like mad. Um, you know, there aren't even hardly any used furniture stores out here. There's just, it's, I had to go to Alamogordon, no, to Tularosa. I had to go to Tularosa <laughs> to find some things. They're bringing them over from Tula Rosa. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, it's just been um, comedy of errors and just craziness trying to get things. I will be so glad to be in there, okay, um, tomorrow and actually have a couch. Um, so I will be staying in the house. <laughs> I will not be coming back here to sleep. <laughs> oh, mercy. Mm. But anyway, we'll see how things go. Oh, I quit all my medication. Um, so I'm waiting to see what happens. These are still, you know, you know, still, I have those ones that they still are itching like crazy. It's, uh, and it, and it's worse at night. And they said, if you have anemia, if you have diabetes, it will be worse. And I have both of them. So I'm just at night and just wanting to tear my skin off. <laughs> uh, not fun. Anyway, I see I have a few questions to row readings, and I will do those. I'll try to, maybe I'll try to do some this evening. Um, I'll see if I can get those done this evening. Um, because, I, I, like I said, tomorrow, um, we'll see. We'll see if I'm <laughs> up and ready and uh, can get some get any readings done tomorrow. I'm having proper, does anybody else have, um, you know, the hot mail? Are you having trouble with it loading? I mean, literally it's taking five, 10 minutes of just sitting there waiting for it to load. I've tried signing out, signing in. I've tried refreshing. I've tried everything and nothing is working. And so, you know, I've got these, the last documents that I had to go in and sign online that I got the closing document. And um, it's maddening. You wait, you know, like five minutes for it to download, then five minutes for it to open, then five minutes to... Go. Literally, it's, it's taking that long. Everything else is working fine. It's only that one site which is doing that. 
So, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave this here because I've got something in there. Microwave, hopefully it's warm. I don't know what's been going on with the microwave. It hasn't, I've had to put things in twice the time. It may be ready to go out. So um, hopefully this is cooked through. <laughs> I'll find out in a minute. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put it in again. And uh, so we'll see. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Much love and light. Um, and yeah, I will show you the place, you know, as I'm getting it done, when I get it decorated, when I get things in there, you know. Uh, you'll probably see it in the process because, <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a while for all this stuff to uh, come in. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to leave this here and go check my dinner, and hopefully it's cooked through. <laughs>